Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. I thought we would do another edition of Cliff Dwellers. Bitcoin is testing these areas, these lows that it's been testing the last couple of days. And so why don't we go and see if Bitcoin is going to hold that or if it's about to jump and drop off a cliff here. Um, you know, this is these are the this is the prior local top from um, uh, from back from from January. Okay, so we're, we're basically testing that same area again. Okay, so we're gonna keep a close eye on this. You can see we're right down there at that in that region. We'll draw a little rectangle to show you kind of like where that region is right there. We'll see if we if we hold it or if in fact we ultimately drop below. Um, let me post this in a couple different places and then we will jump in. All right. All right, here we are. We are at 42,695. You can see we've been coming down to this level basically, um, you know, every every half day or so for the last couple of days. We just keep coming back down to it. Uh, I mean, I think the more the more times we test it, the more likely we are to break it. Uh, doesn't mean we can't doesn't mean we can't balance, but I, I think we need to be care we need to be cautious here. You can see we just had a wick down all the way down there. If we go to say like the five minute time frame. You can see we just had a wick all the way down to 42k. Um, so it is, you know, these <laughs> we are we are getting pushed lower. Uh, it seems like um, you can see this first wick over here stopped at 42,186. This one went down to 42,112. This one went down to 42,020. 42, so let's see if we let's see if we actually hold it or we if we drop below and go back down and test some other areas. Um, some of the, you know, if we look at if we look at this chart, you can see that so far Bitcoin has failed so far to hold the line on say like the daily time frame. On the weekly time frame, Bitcoin still closed above the 21 week EMA, and it might be why some altcoins are remaining relatively bullish. Some of them are still doing relatively well, but so far this week, this could just be a wick down, and maybe we'll close it back above 46.3. But I mean, you know, at the current moment, it's not looking like a strong possibility. But of course, you know, by the end of the week, of course, Bitcoin could rally another four thousand dollars up and, and close back above the twenty-one week EMA if, in fact, Bitcoin is able to hold the line here. So let's let's keep an eye on this. We'll look at the minute chart and see where we are. So this is the minute chart. You can see that we have been, in fact, have our little cliff dwellers dwelling on the cliffs right <laughs> dwelling on the cliffs so let's see let's see if we can let's see what happens with bitcoin um yeah i mean even if we guys even if we go down i, I really don't think it's it's that big of a deal in the grand scheme of the cycle. I mean, we're, I mean, so far we're still holding up at 42. Uh, we'll see if that falls. If it does fall, it'll be interesting to see where it goes. Let me, um, let's move this to a daily. So you can see like where it is right now is basically near that prior, that prior top. Okay, it's, it's from that January 21st top the bulls are fighting there okay they are trying to fight there if we don't hold it if we don't hold it i mean you know this area was a big area i mean this was all the way down at, at 30k so was all the way down at 30k but this was like a, a pretty a pretty big area for bitcoin to hold um back a few months ago so that might be an area to look out for if we if we drop below uh, let's pull up some of the moving averages uh, you can see the 200 is is right here so if we if we do drop below 
the 200 could maybe provide some level of support. You know, we, we did bounce off the 20 day many times during this when it was very bullish. We bounced off the 50 day, we bounced off the 100 day not too long ago. That's when Ethereum went on this crazy run. We are quickly approaching the 200 day. Note that the 200 day moving average right now is at 39,691. So basically, if Bitcoin were to go just below 40K, we would be hitting the the 200 day moving average. Um, so if if we do drop, it might be interesting to see if we are in fact able to bounce off of that level. Um, if you guys like the content, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Remember to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. Definitely hit the hit the thumbs up if you guys like the content. And we just we just did so sh show some charts in a recent video of showing that we we could always get a dip back down and then just sort of have like a, a reaccumulation phase for a more extended bull market as we as we continue on. Yeah, Link is Link's holding up relatively okay. It's up about what, like 9% on the day or something. Um, ADA is still holding above $2. Obviously, there are a lot of these cryptocurrencies, a lot of the altcoins are sort of hoping that Bitcoin is able to get back above the bull market support band up here. Um, if it doesn't, you might see them. My guess is if you see Bitcoin come back down to these levels, you're going to see some, uh, you know, some of these coins that have gained a lot. They're probably going to give up some ground is, is my guess. Now, I don't think they're I don't think we're in territory of giving up like 85 percent ground or 90 percent ground. I think that's coming later on down the line. But I do think, you know, again, we've showed before that altcoins can easily correct 60% and still generally be fine. I mean, ADA is already down like, what, 25% from its all-time high of like 249 or something. So you see how easy it is for them to pull back. I mean, because they put in these crazy tops on a given day and they, they can pull back significantly uh, from that rally. Yeah, the, the stuff with China, guys, I mean, uh, China China bans crypto like every other day. So I, I don't really get why people are reacting to that. I mean, if, you know, if, if we go through a market cycle and there's not FUD related to China, then I would be worried. Um, if they're not banning it every five days, then I would be worried. Uh, but because they ban it every five days, I'm like, oh, it's just it's just more or less the same. It's the same thing we've been seeing for forever. Uh, it's like, how many times can you ban it? <laughs> Yeah, so as I, as I said before, even if we do go down, I, I think this cycle could be that double peak cycle like 2013. We've been talking about that implication on the channel for a long time because in 2013, we basically just went straight up, then we broke the 20 week, we came back down, and then we had another run later on. I just think this cycle is, sli is a slightly extended version of that cycle so far. Now, Bitcoin could fake us out, and and not put i mean i mean maybe next week it just rebounds and, and starts continuing higher that's always a possibility right we don't want to discount that possibility because it is always a possibility we're just discussing the implications of a you know of a double peak cycle or if you want to include the one in 2019 maybe like a a, a triple peak cycle where we keep coming back up to this line um maybe we go down for a while and we come back up to it uh later on and then we, we maybe look at it and say oh it's a, it's a triple peak cycle or something i don't know um, but right now, right now, I think we just need to figure out, you know, if we go below 42K, it seems like we're probably going to have a, a, a long time in, in consolidation and, and potentially reaccumulation. Like it could go on for months is my, is what I'm saying. Like if, if we fall, if Bitcoin falls below, you know, well below the 20 week SMA, which it still theoretically has a chance to get back above the 21 week EMA by the weekly, by the end of the weekly close. But if, if we're falling down here, then I feel like we're in for months of reaccumulation is what I would guess is I, I would say we're in for for months of reaccumulation and maybe a brief bear market like we had in 2019. Uh, you can see that bear market we had in 2019, a very brief one, like maybe six to 10 months or so before gearing up for the next leg. That is what I would say is is it could happen if we in fact fall below 
fall below 42k and and start heading down to say like 35k or 30k or 25k or something uh but remember bitcoin is resilient it i mean it it is resilient we don't want to i don't think we should be getting too far ahead of ourselves yet we are currently trying to hold the line at the prior local top from january of 2021 we'll see if it holds certainly the bulls are fighting um we will see if it holds let's go back over to the minute time frame you can see our cliff dwellers are, are chilling on the edge there. Looks like we need to draw another one right here. So we have our little cliff dwellers. And the question now, it seems like we're, you know, we're <laughs> we're we're sort of going back down slightly. The question is, is are we about to drop? Or are we about to get a huge relief rally? Uh, that's the question. I don't know. I'm not a day trader. Maybe you guys can tell me. Um, All right, we're at 42. Sorry, I was just checking out the chat. <laughs> Someone says, where's the bookshelf? They don't like changes. That bookshelf's never coming back. They're never coming back. All right, we're at 42.5. It looks like the lowest we went just a few minutes, a few moments ago was 42,024. Okay, so it looks like that's the lowest we've gone recently. Um, and the lowest on the, on, the, on, the, on the one minute candle was 42,466. So we're basically flirting we're getting pretty close to flirting with the lowest we've been on the on these uh, very very important one minute candles. Are we getting a tour? No, I haven't moved yet, so. All right, we're back below 42.5. Flirting with the line. Someone says, what are those stick people? They're cliff dwellers. They can't dwell on cliffs. Looks like a lot of people think we're going to hold above 40K. Some people say, some people say a slight wick below 40K. If we go if we go slightly below 40k that would be that would be the 200 day. So the 200 day right now is at 39,690 and 51 cents. So that's where the 200 day moving average is. So not not too far removed from where we currently are. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, if you, pretty sure we've uh, definitely moved below the last cycle now, which is what we said would happen, right? We said we expect, we do not think that this cycle will keep pace. So yeah, you can see, you can see here, you can see here that we have in fact moved below it. 
Okay, but this is, I mean, we speculated that this is going to happen, right? We speculated that we would eventually move below it. Obviously, we could even get back above it. I mean, if, if Bitcoin were to go sideways for a month, then uh, actually it would be above the last cycle at one point because there was a there was a, a pretty big pullback about that sort of looked like this around the same time during the last market cycle. Okay, you can see that here. Um, and if we go back down to say that level, uh, it would correspond to going down to say like 37.5K. Okay, it would correspond to going down like 37.5 or 37.4. Um, if you if you just sort of overlay if you if you look at this one maybe if you actually put this peak there you can see there are some similarities right there are some similarities between this drop and that drop that we had the the cycles are different of course like they're not going to do the exact same thing um, we're just noting we're noting some of the similarities right there are some similarities here um, I'm just trying to line it up. Yes, yeah, so like if you line it up there, then then it would have us going down to just below 41k um, if they you know if they were to to do the exact same thing, which they probably won't, right? I mean, they, this one already went higher. I mean, this one went to 64k. This one uh, normalized for this cycle would have on would have gone to 61k. So it's not like they're doing the exact same thing, anyways. Um, nor that nor would we expect them to. I mean, we wouldn't really expect them to. It's not like it's not like this cycle. Uh, copied two cycles ago, right, or the cycle before, um, so. Yeah, I'm just looking at the similarities there. If it were to copy it, I mean, you can see how crazy that rally was, right? Back last year, if it if we sort of overlaid it, like it basically would correspond to today if we if we emulated it, it would correspond to going to like 40k, and then within a week going back to 64k. Think about how ridiculous of a move that would be. Uh, that would be a pretty ridiculous move. But obviously, this cycle did look a lot different than the current one. All right, so now we're at 42.8. So Bitcoin is trying to to hold it. Trying to hold it. Forty two nine thirty. Wonder what the um, the total crypto market cap now is at two point oh three two trillion. So it's a two point oh three two trillion right now. Let's switch this out. Let's look at a um, a five minute time frame and see what it looks like. So that's what the five minute time frame looks like. The one hour time frame, the four hour, this is the four hour time frame. You can see it's trying to hold the one day, this is the one day. So again, we're right at that level, the local top from January. Um, that's where we currently are. The three day looks like that. 12 day, the one week, and the one month. So that's what the one month looks like so far. So pretty big reversal there, right? Pretty big reversal. This one was sort of like a, um, you know, this first red candle followed by a pretty massive one down. So far, this is a negative 26, this is a 26% drop. So far, this is a 26% drop.
All right, Bitcoin's back up to 42.9. It's continuing the fight. The bulls will continue to fight to hold it off. Yeah, I mean, I, if you guys want to know my thoughts, I mean, just go look at the last video I put out on the channel. We, we talk about the entire asset class as a whole and talk about, you know, the implications of us bouncing here and what that might mean and the implications of us going down. But I mean, in the scheme of the cycle, I, I feel like Bitcoin's still going to trend to six figures, whether that means we go down below 40K first or even below that. I mean, it's somewhat irrelevant, I, I think, because I'm not I'm not here to day trade. I know some of you are, but again, this is not this is not the right channel for for day trading. There are other better channels for that. Yeah, uh, 20K Bitcoin would certainly be nice. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but it certainly would be nice to, to buy at that level again. Someone asked, why do exchanges have the same price? Uh, because of arbitrage. I mean, people, if, if there's going to be, if the, if the price is different, if the price is different too much from one exchange to the other, traders will take advantage of that. Do I think Bitcoin's ever going to go to $300,000? I do think it will go to 300K. I just don't, I don't think that's going to happen uh, this market cycle. So I, I, I think that it will go there. I don't think it'll happen this cycle. 300K is sort of like the 100K of last cycle, I think. Like like last cycle, everyone was saying like 100K and we didn't make it. Like I feel like 300K is probably gonna be the 100K of last cycle where everyone says we're gonna go to 300K and we don't make it to 300K. Thanks for joining the stake pool, Matt Matthias. Yeah, if you guys have ADA, remember you can you can join the um, ITC stake pool if you want to go earn interest. ITC. I put out a recent video showing how to do it if you don't know how. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you like the content. We're currently at uh, 402,000 subscribers, so thank you. Remember, we have a, a Telegram channel with almost 39,000 people. So if you guys are looking for a chat room, I'll post it in the chat. And you guys can check that out um, and go look, go look at the... Remember, I will not message you first. So do you remember that? The pool's the ITC one. All right, well, so far, we're, we're, we're leaving immediate danger as we're starting to slowly move up. Someone says break of 46K, relief, break of 51, we're back on. Maybe, I mean, I think 46, around 46 is a 21 week EMA. So getting back above that would probably be good for Bitcoin, especially it could be good for all coins uh, to be back above 46. Above 51, maybe, but I mean, I, you could argue that a relief rally could still take you to, I mean, you could you could make the argument that even a relief rally could take you to 51. I mean, 51 is, is like right here, right? Uh, 51K is like right here. So um, if, we, if we do come back up, which we could, I mean, we definitely could get a bounce. Uh, I still don't know that 51 necessarily means we're back on track. Like it, it could just mean we're sort of still slowly trending down. 
So let's, I, I would say, you know, if we can get, I mean, if we get above like 60K, then I'd say maybe we're back on, right? Like if, if, if Bitcoin goes above 60K, then we're, we're probably back on track in the short term. Uh, but we're, we're a long ways away from 60K at the moment. But as we saw, I mean, we know that things can change relatively quickly. If we do go look at the daily RSI, I'm curious where it is. I'm guessing we're oversold still. Um, we're sort of right at that mark at the bottom. Uh, it's currently at 29.43, so we are technically oversold based on that, but we can go below it. I mean, we can go to more oversold levels. Note that during this entire phase of these, you know, all these little peaks right here, the daily RSI was basically losing steam. You can see that each of these, each peak, the, the relative strength index was going down, each um, for all of them, in fact. Um, so even if we do go back up, I would say maybe keep an eye on this. If we, if we come back up to this level or something, uh, then that would be an indication that it hasn't changed. I'd be looking to see, can it get above like 60K? Can it get, can it get back above 60K? Not 51. I feel like 51 is, is not necessarily out of the woods. If you look at this on the three-day time frame, it tells a similar story. Very similar, um, very similar story. If you look at it on a 12-day, um, that's what it looks like, you know? So, I mean, pretty far down compared, you know, similar move to like 2019. Um, so maybe we'll, maybe we'll try to find some support here uh, on the 12-day at some point. But anyways, well, I mean, we're, we're just going to keep an eye on it. We'll, we'll stay here a little bit longer and see if we're out of danger or if we're about to head lower. We're currently at Remember, when things are bearish, it's a good time to get your interest accruing on your crypto. When, when you're not making money from, from gains, at least you're hopefully stacking, stacking crypto from interest. Someone says Bitcoin is inefficient, it cannot scale. Um, I, I don't really think, I, I don't really envision Bitcoin as like a global payment system. I, I just envision it as like a store, like a well, like you know, store of, store of value, basically preserving your wealth type thing, not, not like a, something that's not necessarily gonna be used for day-to-day for -day transactions. That's my interpretation of it. Um, I know some people uh, maybe have a different one, but for me, I mean, I'm not looking to go, you know, buy, buy food with Bitcoin, for me, it's more of a store of value than anything. Someone says, would it be worth stacking ADA even if it's smaller or staking it? Yeah, I mean, I remember it's all about percentages. So if you start staking it, then you're just gonna, yeah, you start with a smaller amount, but it all comes back to you to percentages. I haven't seen any news for Walmart, I don't know. We're still at 42.940, so I'm not really yet sure if it's you know if we're gonna go down and test lower levels or not. Obviously, Bitcoin is is teetering on the edge. Um, we'll see if it holds.
It'll be interesting to see what this pullback is, actually, because I think it's like 35. So far, it's been a 35% pullback. We're not even that far from a 40% pullback. We had multiple 40% pullbacks last cycle. Um, a 40% pullback would take us down to about 39K. What do you guys think? Who thinks who thinks we're uh, who thinks we're bouncing and who thinks we're 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 about to dump? Right? So who thinks who thinks we're bouncing, who thinks we're gonna dump? Looks like a pretty mixed response so far. Maybe a little bit more people saying dump than bounce. There's definitely a mix. More, definitely more people thinking we're gonna dump. You know, I mean, I don't know. I mean, like you all, you could argue, you could always argue. Well, you know, the market does whatever. You know, the reverse of what people think, but. <laughs> When it was trending up, we always asked people what way is it going to go, and everyone always said up, and they were right, right? So um, I don't necessarily think that's the best, the best analogy. We're currently at 42,719. We just had a wick not too long ago, remember, down to 42,029. We have not had, you know, we haven't really spent much time below 42.4 or 42.4K. We have not spent much time below 42.4K recently. So. Someone says it's hard to believe that we'll see a 40% retracement. I mean, we already saw a 35% retracement. So yeah, I mean, we might not go 40%, but if we can see a 35% retracement, it's not like a 40% retracement is that much different. I'm not saying we will, but I'm just saying like the idea that institutions are gonna save us from 40% retracements are not true. I mean, we just had a 35% drop. Remember we have the uh, the uh, what's a few trillion among friends t-shirt at store.intothecryptoverse.com if you guys are, are looking for a t-shirt. Someone said make a poll on Twitter. I already did. I made a poll. I said, will 42K Bitcoin hold? Um, 6,100 people have voted. 55.4% said yes. 44.6% said no. So it's a pretty even split. It's a pretty even split on, on, on Twitter what people think. About half of the people think it's going to bounce. Half the people think it's about to drop. Remember to check out the premium list if you guys want to know how I'm navigating these markets. You can check out the sale in the description below. All right, we're at 42.743. We'll see what happens. We'll see if we're going to hold. Let's maybe go out to a five minute chart.
All right, 42, 42 we're back down to 42, 5. Someone says zoom out, we'll zoom out. Yeah, we came down to these levels yesterday and earlier, earlier to, uh, yeah, yesterday we came down to where we, actually this is where we bottomed at yesterday, uh, late in the day UTC time. Earlier in the day yesterday we had bottomed at around uh, 42,090 or so. And then, and then on this, earlier on the 17th we actually bottomed all the way down to like 42,191. So we've tested this level many times. Like we keep testing the same level, which I mean, again, maybe it holds, but I also, I also know that, I mean, the more times you test something, the more likely it is to break. Kind of the same thing when you're moving up, the more times you keep testing it, the more likely it is to break. And right now we keep testing it to the downside, not the upside. So let's see, let's see what happens. Maybe our cliff dwellers will hold the line, but <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It's funny to show the chart like this, right? The um this is this is the inverse. The inverse. If you were to look at this chart, I bet a lot of, <laughs> if you were to look at this chart, I wonder what people would assume. But if you think if you think this is going up, that means the price of Bitcoin's going down, right? Because it's it's the inverse here. Well, I mean the the, the, the y-axis is just like an inverted here. This is this is um you can see it's plotting it plotting it in reverse here. This was the pandemic. That was the pandemic dump right there. So this was the um this was the 2018 bottom. This was the pandemic bottom. Yeah, the whole Elon stuff with crypto is getting kind of ridiculous. Like people, people shouldn't be reacting over what Elon says about about Bitcoin. In my opinion, uh, Bitcoin was fine before Elon. It'll be fine without him. One says, who is Elon? Elon Musk. All right, well, we might call it here. Um, I need to get going, but hopefully, I mean, we'll see what happens and we'll see if it holds or if we end up dropping below. Currently, we're at 42,000. 888 so again keep an eye i mean it seems like 42k is at least trying to hold 
So obviously if it holds, then altcoins may remain relatively bullish, especially if it gets a bounce back up above the, 20, the 21 week EMA. Um, but anyways, I don't really have anything else for you guys. Just wanted to watch it here for a few minutes. You can see it's holding so far. Uh, we'll see what happens as, as the day goes on. Um, but yeah, make sure you guys make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Definitely give the video a thumbs up. Check out the store if you want a t-shirt. Check out the Telegram channel. Almost 39,000 people. So if you guys want a place to chat, you can join that. Uh, why don't we wrap it up there? Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, let me just see if, if Bitcoin's going to do anything here. I don't think it doesn't seem like it is. It looks like it's just sort of going sideways right now. Um, maybe I'll wait another minute and see. Forty-two eight thirty-seven. Let me just keep an eye on it because it is starting to come back down a little. So I just want to keep an eye on it for another minute or so. Link Bitcoin putting in new local highs against, uh, uh, you know, putting in new local highs here. A modest 97,000 Satoshis. All right, we're back to 42.7. All right, we'll end the stream whenever we get a green minute candle. When we get a green minute candle, we'll end the stream. Forty-two six. Yeah, Link. I mean, we always know Link does well when Bitcoin doesn't. I mean, that's typically how it works. It's not really news. That's just, uh, it's just business as usual, right? All right, guys, I got to get going. I will uh, talk to you guys later. Make sure you guys subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. Thank you guys for tuning in. And let's wait for the minute candle to close green and we'll go into it. I will see you next time. I'm assuming it's going to close green. Um, yep, there it is. All right, see you guys. <laughs>